So yeah. another thing is to set the temperature, right? If you want to ensure that your agents aren't really hallucinating, you can set the temperature lower, right? You know, and and not go too crazy with that. If you if you have like a temperature of some models at like 0.75 or something, expect it to be creative. That's what you're telling it you want, right? Um, but I will actually flat out tell them in the system prompt if if it applies. Some things I want them to have that creativity. I want them to do that. But if I'm working like with data and I want to make sure it's not hallucinating data. That's one other thing. You kind of mentioned it earlier, Samuel. Um, and I don't remember if you're going to get into it here. But one thing I've also found is that metadata can be super, super useful in this way, where if I structure the data that's coming out, like if I tell it, hey, when you're getting data, I want you to put it in this format and I structure it, that the yeah. LMs do a much better job of being able to parse that data and such. So there are some, like I guess, tricks or, or things you can use sometimes to try to keep the LLMs on track. Yeah, it's again all about the data. So if you have the, yeah. um, data clean and, and if you can filter the data, so let's say that you have different categories that, that, that are topics. If you can like filter the, the topics that you want to run your vector search, this will uh, return you better content and then the risk of hallucination is it's it's uh, it's less than it, it should be so there are multiple ways to do that but uh, every time you will see that you have to implement more and more uh, system prompts and these these guardrails uh, uh, around your your agent yeah. so it,